So we're at Wavemaker, very grateful for the. It's part of WPP's offices. WPP are the biggest advertising company in the world because we want young people who are involved in technology or digital to realise now it doesn't matter what kind of company you work for. Everybody now needs people who've got digital, AI, those kind of skills. And today, very much, these young people have demonstrated those skills. Um, it's been amazing, like so impressive to see all of the work that the young people have put in, um, such an amazing range of different solutions that they've come up with, um, and also seeing kind of how much personally the young people have invested into these projects um, and how kind of brave and vulnerable they've been has been really incredible. These sorts of initiatives are far better than sort of a CV on paper because you can say anything on a CV. Um, whereas with things like this, you can really get an understanding of what someone is capable of, what they can do, what they can bring, what they, how they think, um, and actually get a better understanding of the sort of talent or sort of person you're getting rather than keeping it to a piece of paper. I think it's wonderful, um, absolutely brilliant to see everybody included. Uh, inclusivity and accessibility is something that I'm really passionate about, particularly from the background that I come from and the company that I work with. So seeing students being given this opportunity, no matter what their ability and no matter what their background, it's actually really wonderful to see. And to be honest with you, everybody has stood up and done such a wonderful job that you really wouldn't know. And they're so passionate, it's just really heartwarming. I could do with a packet of tissues for this afternoon, but it's great. Oh, you know what? It's the future here, right? It's just one of those examples where you go, okay, yeah, what you need. And this is actually gave me a good idea of why AI exists, right? The people of the future are not busy creating video content. They're actually thinking about what they need, creating the prompts, creating things that they want, and then asking technology to fill in the gap, right? That for me was like, this is the future. It's happening now. And these are the minds that are going to be doing it. So it's great. Very impressive because when you've got the you've got different outcomes. You've got, um, for example, let's say um, you've got vaping, you've got alcohol, you've got um, smoking. It's all different, and the outcomes are all unique. And they tend to follow a brand. They tend to follow their own color scheme, and it's impressive what I've seen so far. And the reflections are true, and they're yeah. It's really impressive to see everyone's commitment and how well thought out and designed everything is. There was that one team that actually coded everything. I thought that was really cool. I didn't even think to do that. So it's been nice to see everything. I don't know, what have we got, 150 people in here? It's, it, and when all eyes are on you, I've been there and I've been on stage and I find it hard. I'm a salesperson, I have to deal with this situation quite regularly. You get used to it. For someone such as Amber to face that, it's, uh, it's quite humbling to see how well she's handled it. Yeah, really impressed. There was, there was one or two there that were very inventive around putting chips into, uh, into the vape and things that then is linked to an app. So that scored highly for me, I have to admit. Um, you know, anything that was a little bit beyond just a, an app or a website and had some sort of knock-on uh, you know, chip technology and things like that was very, very impressive. It really opens your eyes as to how, how much Gen Z, as they call it, suffered, really. And, you know, the causes of addiction, social media, drugs, vapes. Vapes is something we see all the time. And you don't think of the long-term implications, but when you see so many students talking about it and how it's affected their lives, it is, it's really amazing. Yeah, well, some of them are real working solutions, so um, you can't put them for that. Some of them have used uh, some platforms to create these apps, which is fine, because you're creating a product at the end of the day. But some of them have also actually coded it themselves. They've used things like React and Python for backend and stuff, so they've, they've gone into some detail as to how they've actually created it. So there's some good technical competence as well there. I think from a Welsh perspective, the the visiting London aspect and travelling down is, is a great draw for them, and some of them have never you know, or Wales sometimes, Some, lots of them have never visited London, so that's the, the big thing, and participating as a group and really learning and developing together and seeing other colleges and other students from different cultures as well. I've cried on all of them, so yeah, that's uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 20. 